What's up, guys? The other day I dropped a Warren rank video, and I was in red ranks. But today I am standing at Mighty Ruler. I want to take the time to talk about a very special asset in Tekken that is valuable and that you should be using. And if you're not using this asset, then what are you doing? It's literally designed to help you improve in the game. If you're doing bad, you need to use it. Let's check it out. So what we have here is a replay system. I'm gonna go through some of my losses here. And we're gonna go through my Mighty Ruler matches. If you wanna see my red rank matches, I have uh, that video, you can go check it out. I'll put it in the corner for you, it's right over there. But we're gonna check out the Mighty Ruler matches, specifically the losses though. So we're gonna review it to see the value of the replay system. Two would be to see how it helps us improve and three being, what can we learn from it? This may take a while to review, you know, sit back, relax, grab a snack, but let's get it. Get ready for the next battle. All right, first up, we got Kazi, of course. And, you know, he's like, I wouldn't call him Mix Up Master or anything, but make sure we got all the frames on and shit like that. We do, okay. And let me just pause for a second. Let's see if everything is there. Yeah, display my fault. Okay, perfect. So we're doing a quick review. And I know what majority of uh, what I did lose by him from was uh, definitely the 50-50s. I'm terrible at predicting them. At least right now. But yeah, the, the hell sweeps got me. I definitely was not using that, I don't think. Oh wait, I don't want to train, bro. Wait. Play it. Yeah, see, I was not using... 4-4. So I didn't even get my punish properly. Just small little errors like that you can improve on. And this thing helps tremendously, bro. This is amazing. That was a fucking nice mid, bro. <laughs> Can't even be mad at it. But I believe this is the, the, the Kazuya that did uh, Hell Sweet Me to death. I don't remember though, but I think it was the last round. Well, I'm glad I'm rewatching. I'm rewatching the first time again. I don't remember. There you go. We both over here just fucking twitching. Let's go. And bro, I'm, I press too many damn buttons, especially against Kaz. Yep, and there we go, bruh, that fucking heat move, bruh. Man. Kaz's heat is fucking cool, bruh. That low sweep is crazy. I know, I know y'all like that fucking jump in, fucking jab on the forehead. That's just nice, because if they do something, bruh, it counter hits, and they, they lay flat, you hit them with a fucking uh, overhead kick. Pretty nice. I love baiting people out with that shit, bro. But I'll get some uh, Mighty Ruler matches up for you guys, or maybe uh, it'd be some variation of purple, or whatever. You know what I mean. But I'm, I'm trying to. Get, I'm on the road getting uh, blue. You know what I mean. I'm trying to go up there. See what that's about. And let's see. Did I properly punish this? What was this four three? I did. I, I didn't. I know I didn't. Oh, but I still caught him with that shit because I know he wasn't blocking. That's the only reason why I got that, probably. But he does some some crazy damage, bro. If he actually fucking connects with some shit, let's see if I get it. I don't. <laughs> and bro, wait, hold on, bro. I remember that shit. Live the accidental hop, <laughs> bro. It's so fucking. That was so accidental, bro. But it was an amazing moment that I can't forget, bro. I literally said I can't forget, but I literally forgot it. But that shit was so cool, bro. I still lost it, though. Don't, don't get excited, but I... Man. That shit was so cool. But what I learned from that, bro, he tapped my ankles in... Pause. So many times, bro. And I just didn't... I was about to say come correct, but pause. No. But we didn't... I didn't uh, adjust to the what was going on to the situation. So I got hell swept... I got swept by his damn heat move, and what that teaches me is, it's very dangerous tools that he has with those, especially the heat, 
knowing that now, I now know when I fight another one that uh, every time he has heat, he can immediately do that low. And you will fucking wind up with hella damage to your health, your health bar, bro. Get ready for the next if, is this the guy, bro? I'm trying to remember if this is the guy that fucking pissed me off, bro. Or he didn't really piss me off, but, bro, it was just, like, the most annoying matchup, bro. Like, yeah, oh, this is, this is him. <laughs> it was a good match, though. Great match. It was just annoying trying to catch this motherfucker, bro. Like, just catch him slipping. I just couldn't. I do need to review this shit. What is that? Okay, so I could have hit him with the with the 14. Okay, I didn't know that. What did I use? Oh, I, I just knocked his ass out anyway. Never mind. Look, I was on a fucking roll, my boy. You know what I will do, though, bro? Let me, um... The frame data probably... A little large, huh? Let me... Mm, is that... That's about as small as a doe, huh? Opponent frame info. Oh, it's the attack. There we go, that's a little better. Is there a smaller version? Nope. Who to be punished after evading it with a crouch? Yeah, he do, he do get me with the sword pokes quite a bit, bro. And y'all like this format better with the replay? I think this is pretty dope. I just thought about that shit, but some big ass boxes be blocking the screen and shit. Okay, so it wasn't was no wrong punishes. I did I did a great job apparently. And he like, I don't like Yoshi Misu for his uh his damn flash, bro. That shit's annoying to me. But he really don't spam it or nothing. I don't think. I don't really remember. Was Dr. Man one two? I I don't know how I didn't get that because I feel like I smashed the fuck out of those. Let me see. I can actually see it over there. I forgot. Oh, I guess I didn't. I mashed all the buttons, so that's my fault. Yep, evade while crouch. I, I never crouch the shit. And that jump and sword move always hits me in the legs, bro. I always get hit by that shit by him. And I know I'm never gonna block. I'm never gonna crouch that shit, bro. I promise you, I will not crouch the entire battles with this man, bro. I just couldn't do it. Then he got a little saucy with the combos. His damage ain't really shit, though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know if he just wasn't using his best best shit, but, like, the damage just wasn't there. This move should be punished after evading it with a crop. Really? Let me see. I actually do want to know how to beat the helicopter, bro. It would be nice. We're about to reveal the secret. Okay. So before that little, that little, little shit, let me see. Let me see one more time. We got it right here. Yeah, a little kick right here. The sweep. Okay, so we can duck right after the kick. I mean, I punish him anyway, <laughs> but it's still funny. I always just throw a jab out just to test if, like, you can get him, and I usually do. And let's see if I get again. Now, he got me with the heat. He does have a grab as well, and that grab is, uh, pretty scary. Amazing damage. I will not block that move for a while. Yep, I, I never will crouch it, bro. I didn't learn my lesson. And I probably didn't punish. Nope. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not, I can't lie, bro. He had me, you know, shiv shiver me timbers, bro. I didn't know what to do. Like, I was fucking shaking in my boots. What to do? I was like, hmm. This didn't work. This didn't work. I was like, what do I need to do? And I think this is at the point where I'm like, damn, I need to start grabbing him. But I don't remember if I do or not. But I know at some point during this fight with this dude, bro, I was like, I really need to start grabbing him because it's gonna be bad if I don't. Because he knew what I was gonna do next, because I'm guessing he fought plenty of wall rings before. And yeah, evading that or crouching. I don't evade that, but I usually punish it. But this is this point where he starts grabbing me with it. And I'm like, oh fuck. 
And then this shit, bruh, perfect evasion, bruh. Reminds me of some old school lay shit, bruh. But I hit him with the wombo, you know. Almost back in the fight, we blocked something. Oh, he tried me, he tried me. We tap his ankles, boom, and he's cooked. You know what I mean? Fish fillet, he's done. And then it gets real serious, we're both taunting at the beginning. And then this is when he started going crazy with the spins, I'm like, oh, whoa. And look, do I punish? Nope. The patience. The patience has worked. And then we're back in the game, I drop my shit. But look, he do something dangerous. Tap his ankles? Nope. And look, we just poked in. It's all good fun, bro. And at this point, I feel like I finally, like, caught on to him. I try to grab him, and guess what? He already was ready! And he fucks me up after that, bro. It's insane. And look, I was ready for his grabs, though. And I never punished that. It does is like the highest move in the world. And I thought the the the, the mid right there at the end was like That was that bullshit, bro. I was like, wow, they really let it slip right there at the end. It is he just hit me and I was dead. And it was a wrap. But fighting Yoshimitsu, that actually like I completely lost against him actually. Cause he really had he really did have my number at that time, bro. Like, Yoshi is someone that doesn't show up for me very often, but when he does, it's someone I don't like to fight, bruh. <laughs> Especially with that flash in play, bruh, I, I, like, once it starts being thrown out, bruh, I'm like, damn. <laughs> that shit's insane. Well, let's check it out, bruh, I learned my lesson. And there we go, we're we properly punishing. Oh. Hey, I'm getting real good at fucking breaking throws, though, bro. I need to start, uh, picking up people's strings, though. That's what I really need to do. Yeah, he chopped me up. Yep, the fucking jump his sword. He grabbed me. I 100% did not break that one. And yeah, the crouch, I, I would never crouch it, bro. I'm telling you, I couldn't tell the difference. And that was pure luck right there. Let's go back. A little, a little of the wall rain luck, bro. This is the, the luck of the wall rain charms, bro. <laughs> That's just straight up lucky as fuck, bro. And I, I chopped him up in the corner, bro. He was not prepared for a while until that flash came in, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Cheap ass shit. That's alright, though. That's alright. He got his weaknesses. He like too goofy, that's his weakness, like that. Too damn goofy. Too damn goofy, that's what he gets punished, bruh. Locked in. See? I told you, bruh. And that's how you beat Yoshi, though, bruh. Like, use that goofiness uh, against him. He's just like uh, Lei Wulong from Seven or the rest of them. It's just like, they start throwing out like the most goofy buttons and stuff like that. You don't know what to do. They shake you up a little bit. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he fucks me up right here with the Rage Arts, bro. Oh my goodness, bro, Rage Arts. I think I have to make a whole video about Rage Arts, bro, about how I can't stand how they just fucking pop in. But did you not see how weak his Rage Art was, bro? But I got sidetracked like a mud, bro. But yeah, I can make a whole video on Rage Arts, though. Rage Arts are crazy. Especially in this game, bro. Yep, that means be punished. It's like, it's great to be punished, but I don't know what's about to happen, bro. that one. My patience has gotten so much better. I'm also not using like all unsafe shit anymore. Yeah, you got me there. 
Oh yeah, this is when you flat out, uh, I think, uh, just 3 0 me, right? Yeah, that shit hurted, bro. I remember I had to, like, I had to go cool off, bro. I was like, damn, let me go fucking turn the game off real quick, bro, to relax for a fucking minute, bro. Because everything I was doing, bro, just, I was like, man, it just ain't working. It just not working, bro. That should be getting me heated, bro. This motherfucker right here, bro. Dragging off, bro. I can't stand this character, bro. The abuse with that fucking running, too, bro. I can't do it, bro. It's just so annoying. Like, my man's be running at you over and over and over again, bro. But I got the dubs on old buddy, buddy bro. Except for the, uh, the second game. Let's see. We ain't got no... We already did Kaz. Oh, the Leroy, bro, man. Like, people say Leroy suck, and he do, like, kind of, he, but he's so unorthodox, like, it's so weird to fight him, bro, I'm not gonna lie. But let's start out, uh, Dragunov. Because people are saying, people are also saying he's top character, like, Dragunov is, I don't, I don't know about top character, like, I think he's pretty good, though. Like, Dragunov definitely strong as fuck. And yeah, he did have the, uh, the Luffy fit. I remember that. Let's see, I forgot how I lost to him on this one. And I'm pretty sure I got the dub, like, easily. In the, well, I don't even know about easily, but I got it pretty good in the first one. But we just watching the losses. But if y'all want to see some dubs soon, I'll, um... I'll post some, uh, Purple Reigns, uh, matches. I don't know what rank I'll be at the time, but I'll try to get some purple in it first before I reach blue. But right now, if you're skipping along, we're in, uh... We're just reviewing the Dragon Off match right now. Oh, I think I caught him with the, yeah, with the Rage Art. No, but I might make a video about Rage Arts. If you guys want to uh, see a video about Rage Arts, like, I don't know, just me talking about them, uh, just how I feel about them or whatever, let me know down in the comment section below. I don't know, there might be something different. I don't think too many people talk about Rage Arts. Because I feel like they're, like, not a big deal. But they are a big deal. Because they're kind of annoying. And they're kind of, like, OP in a sense. But I don't know. You kind of have to adapt and it sucks. But it is what it is. I guess. And let's see. I have to punish with my... Okay, I, I didn't use that. I know I didn't. Yeah. I, I, I tried to safe bet it with the uppercut. I felt so pressured in this fucking corner with this fucking Lowe's and, uh... This is fucking two, bro. I can't. He's so dangerous, bro, with all his fucking... All his tools, bro. And then this is just a... This is a two break, by the way, if he does this, bro. Repeat. Let me, let me... Watch it again, bro. Watch it again. Watch. It's a little tackle. There you go. It's a two break, bro. Just so y'all know, bro. Just so y'all know. Because I didn't know that. That's when my leg got broken. And like, I should have capitalized better. But we still got some. And we carried him. Oh. Yeah, that was my opportunity. I should have went low. I thought he was gonna end up ducking, but he decided to press. So I already knew why I fucked up there. Okay, I got to punish anyway. I, I need to figure out how to beat that overhead kick, my boy. That shit was strong as hell. I beat it with patience, pretty much. That's all I did. I started using that wall rain armor too, bro. And I had to. Because I needed some kind of method to like slow his fucking momentum down. Because he just kept running at me. And it worked, but it, it hurt like a motherfucker, bro. Oh. That dropped it. My wall, my wall combos are getting better though, for real. Like very, 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 very much better. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But they really are getting uh, better. It just that was just a poor example. I never be blocking his fucking grab, bro. He's the only character I don't be stopping his grab on, bro. I don't even see it happen, bro. That shit happens so fast. Like, I literally don't even see his hands move. Like, he's already just grabbing and it's it's over. Now you gotta walk up with the purple belt, bro. 
That's pretty much how I lost to him, bro. He really had my number, especially in that last round. That shit was tough. That was tough to watch, too, bro. I got my fucking ass whooped. This dragon off got his ass beat. But we just watched dragon off. Let's, uh... Let's see, who did me... It was fucked up. They did make me fight uh, Steve Fox that was an assailant. But technically, he, he might rank. He's just not my rank with Steve. That's all. I believe that's what uh, someone was saying. And then Paul's like the last guy. He... Yeah, he, he got one on me. But we can go to Leroy. Let's see, did he beat me? Yeah, Leroy actually did beat me. He beat me twice. He was a battle ruler. He's actually above. So we can definitely check out Leroy. Oh, right, here's my version of uh, Devil Wall Rain. He got fucking Leroy with the Boosie Fade. But look how much this boy get off, bro, with the range, with the lows, bro. Like, I couldn't predict what he was gonna do next, bro. He kept his distance really nicely, too. I was so afraid to press, too, because I know he punishes hard. This move can be punished after evading it with a crowd. Okay. Let me see it again. What was it? Okay. Mid kick in the high? Okay. <laughs> I punished that dude. I, I love when that kick fucking lands, bro. That shit is so satisfying, bro. That has to be one of the most satisfying fucking launches in the game, bro. Well, I know Skyrocket is cool, bro. I barely be using that motherfucker, bro. I know. I, I, gotta, I gotta get on board with it. But it's one of the most satisfying things. Like, Star Rocket is too. If you actually land one, bro, like, it, it is very satisfying. But that, that back three is just fucking cool as fuck. But Leroy had my number on that one, bro. That was a great fucking punish. He's, he's using his range heavy. I was not picking good long range pokes at all. But he was fucking whooping my ass, bro. Them, them posts were really getting to me, bro. But I had it with that. I had it with the lockdown. The case was locked down, bro. <laughs> that little punch combination go crazy. Would you punch after evading it with a crouch? Damn, you got kids in your chest. Hell yeah, you fucked me up with that one with them Bruce Lee's, bro. Damn, chill out. Yeah, he be having my number sometimes with that shit, bro. Yeah, he all peaceful as shit, bro. Go ahead, log off, bro. Yeah, he severely fucked me up in that one. And then I got my run back on him with that one. I won it. And then with this one. It's like, I really couldn't figure out what to, um... Because the thing he kept getting me with was, really, was the lows that was really eating me up. Because I would, he would basically bait the shit. They'll tap my toes in or whatever, and then, like, as soon as I try to, like, oh, let me lock in and, like, block the low or whatever, he'll hit me with a fucking mid. Or do some fucking fast, quick ass attack. And then you have his parry, like, stands ready to go afterwards, and I was like, fuck. And this, okay, so they want me to jump attack, okay. I did catch him lacking with that, but dropped it. And, like, he was ducking my fucking move, bruh, so I didn't know what to do, I was like, oh, fuck. Look at him. Perfectly ducking my shit. And nobody ever did that. And I just didn't learn my lesson after that, bro. Even even after seeing it a thousand times. Because he don't keep ducking my shit. So 
minus two. Yeah. Well, that's the best thing to do. That's, that's crazy. Oh yeah, pop off, bro. Yeah, with the fucking punches and shit. Yeah, them fucking long range toes of his, bro. Oh, frog legs. That's when I started locking in with mine too. I was like, you know what? I could be doing that shit too, for real. Cause my uh, what is it? Fucking down back three is fucking pretty. It goes pretty far. And you're down with that, yes sir. Combo. And I dropped the second part. I started locking into the fact that I was like, damn, I need to uh, use my safe launcher more often because he's punishing me for using my back one. Or my uh, my cooler one. That's when I started using the uppercut. It is a... It's like a... What is it? 15... About 15 damage off from uh, using a different one. I don't know, that's the right number. But it's a it's a pretty significant difference. I don't know why the uppercut is so uh, weaker. But... Oh yeah, big fucking whip. That boy was healing on the way over. Yep, he fucking locked me down. I can't even use mine. I should disappear. And my toes that kicked in. It truly is a hard fight against him, bro. Also, in the back of my mind, I'm also afraid to, like... I'm like, damn, if I press a button, bro, it might be the uh, end of my career as well, bro. Because he also all, all them damn parries. But damn, this went on a little longer than expected, but we do have... Let's see, I'm gonna save the Steve match. My boy's in the same limp, bro. I'm gonna let him live. He's in the same limp. I ain't gonna show you on YouTube, bro. You be cool, bro. I'm gonna let the, the 10, 10 Ryu dude, Paul. We don't, we don't get you in the replay. We'll do one more. If you're still here, I appreciate you for sticking around for video. Can I at least get one like? Show support for your boy. I hope you guys are learning something as well, too. Channel the Fit. I brought it back, you know. But me and this ball had actually some great fucking rounds. But I'm not very good at fighting balls, so. But that big shoulder I can actually punish with my back uh, three. Oh, yeah, we getting them. I love the Moro and suit, though. Paul's a very uh, strong character. His damage is insane. I don't think he's very like. I don't think he's super tricky. He's very like he has quite a bit though that can like that can trip you up, but it's very um it's not too flashy. It's very brute like, but his, his damage shows like with those brute ass moves. And what is this? I can punish. I can punish that with a back three. I won't be able to reach him though. I said I was plus seven though. Yeah, so I can, it can be punished with back three, but you can't. You're not gonna reach him. That's like situational back three, really. Say if you get pushed back into the corner a little bit, and there's still room between you two, like maybe a foot, and you got punished for that, easy enough. Careful with them ray darts, folks. Can we catch him in the wombo? Yes, sir. I thought he was going to use that rotation, so I threw my palm out. And let's see. I was supposed to use that. Okay, I did not do that. I had to use back three. So I got punched with the grab, and I could have broke it. I did not. Locked in. Yeah, they went on ground. I used the wrong uh, kick. Oh, 
trying to get him to press, but he, I mean, I got him. And that little fucking, uh, the fist trip, bro, that one always gets me, bro. I never see that one coming. And smart move using a rage art. Because I definitely thought he was going to drop it. So one punch, man. Not bad. I enjoyed fighting this ball, though. It helped me learn a lot about the character, for real. Watching these reviews, too, has also helped me a little bit. I can see that punch a little bit better now. The, uh, that low punch that trips you up. Okay. Oh, that one can be punished. Okay. That looks safe. I do need to start using that move more to catch people. That shit does have a little bit of reach. I just think it's like minus like 13 though if I do. Oh yeah, we got him with the armor. Armor again. Yep, <laughs> he wasn't ready. Everything was looking good, bro. I don't even know how I lost. Let's find out. Oh yeah, he started he started going crazy a little bit, I remember. That's when I was like, oh wait, what the fuck's going on? He started throwing lows out more. Had him locked in, he wasn't ready. I just sensed the low myself right now, bro. Yeah, he had me he had me down with the lows, bro. I was cooked. I was cooked. I was so conditioned, bro. I, I tried the, the crouch and I got fucking smacked by the fist, bro. That one hurt it, I remember. But then you know in the end, your boy came back, we won, and here's where we're at right now, I'm at Mighty Ruler. I feel like I'm in a good spot right now, I'm definitely trying to go upward, I'm trying to be in the blue rank, I want to see what that's about. Purple hasn't been, uh, obviously too bad, I've only lost a few games, it's not, it's not terrible. You know, your boy learning, I'm getting better every day. My, my grab game getting pretty solid though, I'm breaking, I'm breaking throws and shit. It, it's, it's games feeling nice. This is a very valuable tool to use. Make sure you are using it, especially if you're losing a lot. If you are stuck in a certain rate, make sure to check this out. Go in here. Like, don't just, just practice. Go in here and watch your matches. Go see what you're doing wrong. You can really learn how to beat another character that way, too, to see the frames. They literally show you everything you need. I'm telling you, this can help you improve. This can help you win matches. This can help you learn your matchups that you don't know. This can help you to know... If you're like you're not a bit on like using the lab, this is kind of like it's kind of a little lab cheat sheet. You can kind of come in here. They tell you the frames for you. You kind of piece it together. You kind of understand a little faster than uh, sitting there and doing uh, step by step in the lab. That's one way you can skip it. It can help you improve that way. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Go check out something else on the channel. I'll holler at y'all soon. I'm out of here.